The intersection between fire risks and insurance will be the death of the EV dream. All it takes is a fire like that which occurred in Seoul a couple of months ago, which destroyed hundreds of cars and put scores of families out of their homes, for the insurance companies to be awakened with a jolt from their complacency and realise that the EV revolution could cause them considerable problems. The EV advocates are pushing full steam ahead with their vision of installing rows and rows of chargers in apartment parking garages to allow residents in such blocks to join the great electrification revolution. But fire departments and insurers have got other ideas. On the one hand, you have the fire departments requiring that underground charging be ideally avoided altogether, recommending charging outside instead, or if such charging is unavoidable, be protected with hugely complex and expensive sprinkler systems. And on the other hand, you have the insurance companies who can see vast losses arising from a possible fire in such a location and either pushing up premiums through the roof to cover themselves or alternatively not covering such a property at all. And now one of the largest insurers in the US has banned EV charging in its own parking garages. What does that tell you about what they think of the safety of such charging arrangements. Welcome back to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer, now Sydney-based YouTuber. Be sure to follow me on the usual socials for more content, links in the description, and please make sure you're subscribed and have enabled all notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you'd like to support this channel, why not buy me a coffee? Click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. The decision by State Farm, the largest auto insurance provider in the US, to ban the charging of EVs in its own parking garages speaks volumes as to what they think of the possible risks. State Farm removing EV charging stations from parking decks. State Farm is removing electric vehicle charging stations from its parking decks at Corporate and Corporate South headquarters in Bloomington and at its hubs throughout the nation. The move is effective as of October 28th, according to a message sent to company employees. While we understand the impact to those who rely on EV charging, it is our top priority to ensure a safe and secure working environment for our employees, states the message. Following an enterprise risk assessment and evaluations conducted by local fire departments and workplace protection in each hub and corporate headquarters, fire risks were identified in the parking garages that cannot be mitigated at this time. Cannot be mitigated at this time. Wow! The company told workers it will consider plans for alternative charging locations outside of parking garages, including the possibility for EV parking. Construction projects are being explored at corporate headquarters and the Illinois Operations Center to install EV chargers in available surface lots where fire safety risks to other vehicles and structures are minimized, said the company in the message. There are several studies that note fires in electric vehicles occur in the US at a much lower rate than they do for gasoline-powered vehicles. The studies also record that when EV fires do happen, they tend to cost more than ones in gasoline-powered vehicles. EV battery fires tend to burn hotter and may be more difficult to put out than standard vehicle fires. Absolutely correct, not only do they burn hotter, but they can eject high-pressure jets of burning gases that can set fire to buildings and other vehicles metres away. And of course, they fill the car park with a cocktail of lethal gases and smoke, which can kill or seriously injure anyone who inhales it. State Farm is not saying much about the level of risk the company assesses, and in a statement requested by WGLT, the company largely repeated its message to workers. It is our top priority to ensure a safe and secure working environment, said the statement. We will announce relevant updates as these plans are finalised. Well, my guess, and this is just a hunch of course, is that they may have a few people there who may know a little bit about analysing and quantifying risks. And if a company like State Farm isn't prepared to accept EV charging in its own underground parking, then neither should anyone else. In the EV utopia that Western politicians seem to want so badly, can you imagine rows and rows of EVs plugged into chargers and parked next to each other in apartment block car parks all over the world? Just one battery cell with a problem and the entire car park and possibly the building above it could be destroyed. 
As I say, it will be the fire departments and the insurance companies that will save us from all this madness.